I'm going to be between Helen and Tom. Did you, uh, did you think uh, your look had come when uh, Mr. Turner was uh, pushing the belt at the start of the first lap? Yeah, it was, um, well, it was a bit silly then really to try and uh, carry out the team orders on the first corner of the first lap and I sort of, he let Jason through. I saw my opportunity to go with him and did. So, uh, no, it's one of those things, but uh, no, we came off well and had a good race. Yeah, and uh, you, you had a good second race as well, but a bit lonely. Yeah, very. <laughs> there was a, a bit of contact at the start from Matt Jackson, and that was it for the race. It was uh, very quiet. Do you find it a problem to keep your concentration when there's nothing that's happening around you? So no, but the back end of the car is beautiful. I saw lots of it from Fabrizio. But uh, no, it is a little bit. When you settle into a race like that, and uh, I dropped back a bit and then seemed to hold the gap. Once I started holding the gap, yeah, you've got to keep your concentration in and keep it pushing forward. I think from then I knew I wasn't going to make much of an impression on, on Fabrizio or Jason, but uh, so I backed it off a little bit. But uh, you just put one sort of lap in at the end, a sort of a good time just to know you still got it for the next one. So what do you start on this next group? I think we're seventh for the next one, so uh, Fabrizio behind to the left and Jason directly behind. So what do you do? Do you look in your nose or do you concentrate on the road ahead? Break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy no time me this way. Well, one of these guys have been having a quiet day. You've been having a busy day. Yeah, I, uh, we had a good start in the first race and then uh, picked up a puncture from some of the first lap debris. So. Uh, once you have a, um, we had to pit and got a lap down, which meant we were at the back and the back for the start of the back for the second one. And once you're at the back, it's so tight round here and it's very close on the times, it's tough to make your way forward. Yeah, they did a quick change of your tyre there by the looks of it. <laughs> there wasn't a lot left of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got five studs these days and it's not like the old days of one single nut to, to, to change. So uh, you just have to sit there and get tense while they're waiting for them to get it changed. You just got to sit there, be patient and not swear too much on the radio. Right, now, this next race, you're not uh, party to this changing round, are you, of the, uh, the grid? You're the next one back, are you? You're 10th. Well, because I started at the back of the second yeah. one, your target is actually to try and get the reverse grid. Yeah. Um, and it can be anywhere between 6 and 10. They'll draw it out of a hat. And I got up to 10th, and they drew 9. <laughs> so, um, but on the, on the positive side, we've got uh, Jason surrounded. Well, that's what I'm going to say. You've got one in front, one beside, and one behind him. Yep. Right, I think we'll leave it there. I think that was a corporate yes there. Um, we have got something to do here, and I know there's a lot of you and you want uh, autographs, so I'm not going to keep these guys appear too much longer, but we have the master of laps around this circuit, and uh, it's his unfortunate job, he's got to do it again. So I'm going to hand you like a... Yeah, you did the last one. last one, but you did such a good job, you've got to do this one as well. So you're going to do a lap around the circuit. Here you are. Right, so we are here right now. Is this knock it up? Right, no, we're no. we are here watching the last hairpin here. We're all based in, in the pits over here, so we're off the off the line. We're up to uh, sixth gear for this first corner here, and on the map, this circuit looks fairly easy, <laughs> but it's really not. The undulations out. I mean, you can see this hairpin just outside. It's it's not just a simple hairpin. It's a it's a real steep climb, and this first corner is a, a big drop. We're down to fourth gear, sort of in you go, and it's really a case of just balancing the car down through the through the corner and, and not compromising your line for the left this is a sort of one of the overtaking opportunities that you, you can have around the lap but it, it's also quite easy to defend and so it's down to second for the Scotsman's corner <laughs> and uh, that's right in the bottom of the dip and then you're working your way back uphill towards the chicane here. Uh, this is probably one of the most exciting sections on the circuit where we actually probably get all four wheels in the air and land on the straight. Um, you can't see it, it's completely blind. Uh, when, at the start of the race there's a nice big sort of orange bollard there but that lasts all of five, six cars and then someone's taken it out. So you kind of use that as a, as a marker to begin with but then you kind of guess <laughs> and uh, land the other side. So we're back onto the straight there, fourth, fifth, sixth gear and again into another off camber right hand corner very fast corners fourth or third gear and uh, onto this straight down here we seem to be struggling with, with the sats here we seem to be able to catch them a lot through this first section and stay with them down the straight you can get right onto the back of them here but I know Fabrizio will vouch me then they just drive away down here it's, uh, it's very frustrating <laughs> and uh, then everything the, uh, the main overtaking manoeuvres down here in the hairpin, as I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of action here today. And uh, it's all important, the hairpin, to really set up this straight. So qualifying is a big area you work on to set up the lap and, and finish it. Well, well that's, that's as easy as it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a very easy job. Now, before these guys go, I've got one more job to do, and that's to give away our start price today. And uh, if... Um, 
the, Mr. Kevin Davey would like to come up. We've got something to give him. <laughs> if you give me something, you say you're doing well. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice radio control VXR vector. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, these guys are going to go to the back and sign some autographs, so this is your chance to get up. But in the meantime, I want to please show appreciation for Matt, Tom, and Fabrizio for the time they spent to come upstairs. Thank you.